<laughs> just watching the last few seconds of this game ladies and gentlemen oh my god the celebration come on come on to nil chelsea tottenham just few more seconds to go before the full time petrovic takes a long goal kick and that is it what a victory what a victory look do you know what ladies and gentlemen there's a lot of there's going to be a lot of praise today in this match review welcome to the other side of the coin ladies and gentlemen Chelsea to Tottenham Neil we just finished the match this is your match post match reaction ladies and gentlemen this is uh, i have to say a very very mature performance from a inexperienced Chelsea team overall a big big London derby win um against against Spurs off the back of uh, a disappointing result against um Aston Villa, which we probably should have won. Look, we are, I believe we're eighth now. We're not that far away from seventh and sixth spot, which are European spots, you know. Uh, I think sixth will give us Europa League and seventh will give uh, Conference League. We don't get that extra uh, position because most of the uh, teams are eliminated. Most of the Premier League teams are eliminated from UK. But ladies and gentlemen, lots of praise today. Let me just uh, close that up. Big up to Chalaba. Big up to Nicholas Jackson. Madueke. Uh, Kukurea, there's going to be a lot of praise. There's going to be a lot of praise. And of course, praise for Pochettino as well. Look, ladies and gentlemen, this particular match, we were depleted. That bench, that bench, I, I did not recognize anyone from that bench. And having said that, the, the, the match we produced, the overall game plan, and I think one of the key things to talk about is Kukurea inverting into midfield area. And really giving us a different, different tactical flexibility, different tactical setup, and overall a little bit more control. Look, by no means this was a polished performance, but I felt there was a lot of positives in this game. Man, we defended overall in a in a resolute manner, in a solid manner. Uh, overall in midfield, we were you know compact as possible. Of course, Spurs are going to have their moments as well. They're going to come at you. They're a quality team. You're not going to be able to just shut Spurs off non-stop. They're very comfortable with the ball. Um, and considering that, I think we've done a fantastic job, if I'm being absolutely honest about it. Upfront as well, uh, really, really good job from Nicholas Jackson. And even Modric, I must say, yes, there were parts of his game that wasn't great, but then there were parts where I felt nice. Well done, would you just keep working on that? Some really lovely through balls, some nice dribbles. Yes, of course, he's got to polish up his shooting with his left, with his right. But overall, very, very good. Now, I want to praise a few players before I praise the manager as well. I want to start things off with Kukurea. What a monster, monster game from him on the left back. I don't think he made any mistakes, you know, defensively solid, inverting into midfield, giving us that extra impetus in midfield. I loved it. And, and he was there for the first goal, cheeky. They were checking for VAR to see if there were some issues. I don't know why VAR just keeps getting involved in every single goal, but... It was he he cheekily just checked um that Tottenham players run. I think it was Brennan Johnson. He but it wasn't enough to be a foul. I love the way he did that. Just just sort of had his body there, but hands away, allowing for that free kick. I think it was a lovely, lovely free kick delivery from Conor Gallagher, who also had a very, very good game. Captain, his banner was all over. Look, I don't want to talk about too much about the banner. Look, I want to more focus on the positive side of things. I think look. Big up to him for getting that banner, but there, there are so many other players prior to him probably deserves the banner more than him. But anyway, it is what it is. Coming back to the point, Conor Gallagher, lovely cross in, and Trevor Chalaba with a spectacular, stupendous head up. But yeah, Kukurea's work in that goal was very, very important. And overall, Kukurea's performance we are starting to see the Kukurea from Brighton. And I've never given up on this guy. You guys know how much I rate Kukurea. I think for me, Kukurea, we, we can't let him go in the summer. I really think. I've always felt like that anyway. I know there was always doubt about him, uh, whether he can cut it as a Chelsea, Chelsea player. He definitely can. And he's got that bit more experience under his belt. So... I would keep him. He gives us that tactical flexibility. I know in terms of producing goals and assists, he doesn't do that as a as a as an out and out fullback. But he gives us a lot more, lot of impetus in all other facets of the game, and I think it's important. We can go out there and get a left back. I think someone like Ben Chilwell. I'm really starting to con you know question what value does Ben Chilwell bring into this. 
football club, some may say, oh, his leadership. I don't see any leadership. So that's Kukurea. Next up, I really want to talk about Madueke, ladies and gentlemen. His off-the-ball work rate today, I was so impressed. So impressed with Madueke today. Off the ball, especially defensive work was on point. I don't think anyone went past him, you know. He he got on the back of everything. He intercepted everything. He made sure no one went past him, took the ball away from him. And with the ball as well, he was very, very good. Great dribbling. Every time he got the opportunity to take his man on, he did. But this is the version of Medweke I want to see. The only gripe I have with Medweke, there was a opportunity in the first half, I believe he cut in and he took a lovely shot with his left. That's the shot that I need to go in because that goes in and you have that in your locker, you become a monster, monster right winger cutting in with your left. And he's got the ability to hit the byline as well. So he just needs to be able to, when he cuts in with his left, needs to finish that. For me, once he starts doing that, he he, he becomes a, a player that we need to start thinking about keeping. But Praise in isolation. For this game, he was stupendous. I want to see him continue like this week in, week out, and have that same attitude. I know there's a lot of social media stuff of him doing some crazy stuff. Look, do what you need to do off the field. Just make sure on field you're focused and you're giving it your 100%. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about Cooker. We talked about uh, Madweke, Nicholas Jackson. Nicholas Jackson, look, there's a reason why most Chelsea fans will say, there is some value in Nicholas Jackson. Yeah, he's frustrating up front. And even in this match, there were times where he should have released the ball. That's his biggest gripe I have with him. He doesn't seem to release the ball. When there's a pass, they needs to let it go. But there are so many other facets of the game that Nicholas Jackson provides for us. Once again, off the ball work rate. His dribbling is good. Um, link up. Even his hold-up is getting better. Every other thing is good. It's just there are certain parts of the final third decision-making that's not good today. Lovely free kick from Cole Palmer. What a free kick from Cole, Cole Palmer. And love the way how Nicholas Jackson was there to, to mop things up. He was alert. He was, he was awake. And he took that opportunity. Gambled a little bit. Took the opportunity and scored that. Kudos to Nicholas Jackson for getting that. Trevor Chalaba as well. The goal and overall defensively strong. Another defender, we're, we're looking for defenders. Yeah, we're looking for defenders. And we're looking to sell some of these players for pure profit, Gallagher, Chalaba, and all that. But some of these players, are they're putting up the performances. Chalaba, for me, I've always said it from the get-go. I don't know why we are looking for more defenders. I don't even know why we went for Desasi and Badishil, I've always said. Badishil actually had a very good game. Today, Badishil actually had a very good game. So I'll come back to the Trevor Chalaba point of view. I don't know why we are looking for all of these defenders when you have a fairly decent defender in Chalaba. And Chalaba, I'm pretty sure, started off as a captain in the preseason. I don't know whether he was set out to be a captain down the track, but that may be because Reese James and all, they were injured at that point. But Chalaba, once again, what's a solid, solid performance. And I hope he continues like that and gets himself that goal. Obviously, Spurs have a major issue when it comes to set pieces. They con continues to keep conceding that way. But once again, awesome, awesome display defensively from Trevor Chalabar. Um, other notable um, performers, obviously Gallagher in midfield, once again, just at utter engine. Um, and, and do you know what? He's He's got limited, I suppose, attributes when it comes to ball playing ability, but he takes full advantage of whatever he has. And today was great. Caicedo as well, ladies and gentlemen, was once again a powerhouse performance in midfield. So many times he intercepted, so many good tackles as well. So look, overall, I, I felt from Petrovic, solid. I don't think he made any mistakes. Everyone in that defensive lineup, even Alfie Gilchrist, shout out to Alfie Gilchrist on that right back. Um, very, very good performance. Midfielders, very, very good. Uh, tactically, Kukure coming in was fantastic. Cole Palmer, look, he looked a little bit tired. He's probably the only one that I can say was an, an outstanding performer, but still good enough. And Mudrik, Madueke, and Nicholas Jackson all played really, really well. And whoever the, the players, the youngsters that came uh, from the bench also contributed to, to a decent degree. Now I want to talk a little bit about Pochettino before we wrap things up. Look, this particular game, Pochettino... Very good setup. Tactically, he got it spot on. This whole business with Kukurea inverting and giving that impetus in midfield is really starting to click and then give us something different. It all started from that second half against Aston Villa. We almost won that. 
Had we had won that, oh man, we would have been in Europa League positions right now. But let's see. We've got a few more games to go. And Man United, they are bound to drop points. We are probably bound to drop points. But the thing I will say about Pochettino, this guy, the, the, the nonsense he talks in the press conference, I get so annoyed. Just don't say all of that. Concentrate on the game. Focus on producing these type of performances week in, week out. We've got West Ham coming up. Another big game that's coming up. And let's see if we can get three more points from there. So, look, game at a time. I've already said I fully think Pochettino is probably going to stay next season. For me, still, he needs to go. Unless I see a bunch of good games to finish this season off and perhaps make it into Europa League. And then I can start thinking, you know what? Going to achieve what he set out to do. It didn't all work out nicely. But my expectation was sixth in Europa League. He's made it. We made it into a couple of, you know, we made it into a final of the Carabao Cup semi-final. Still not good enough. I wish we won a silverware there. But there's something to back Pochettino at that point. I do need him to keep his mouth shut in, in press conference. So a bit of praise for Pochettino for this game because overall I felt like he, he had a really, really good game plan. And um, Spurs are not a Mickey Mouse team, man. They're a very good team. Yes, their form hasn't been great in recent times, but I think I think overall we've we've managed this game spectacularly, to be honest. So, look, big ups to the team, big ups to the individual performers, and also big up to Pochettino as well. We'll move on to the next game. Big, big London derby win this one. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, how you felt about that. I'm, I'm very, very happy with the team after this performance. Clean sheet as well. Excellent. Kudos. We move on to the next game. Until next time, everyone, take care. Smash the like button if you're here for the first time. Subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see ya.